Hey guys, it's Matty and today, once again, we're joined by a very special someone. She's my silver fox, my French fancy, the girl in my life who never talks back. It is, of course, my saxo. But like many of us in life, she has had the odd breakdown. So today, we're going to be talking about everything that's went wrong with my Citroen Saxo. So a few facts about this car before we start. It's nearly on 80,000 miles and the 13,000 that I've put on this car since buying it in 2018, it's always started first time, every time, and it's actually never properly broken down. A misconception I'd like to put to bed straight away is that not all old cars are unreliable. I mean, you shouldn't listen to the people who say that cars only last eight years because they don't. This is virgin on 20 years old, this car. Plus, new cars can be shockingly unreliable as well. I mean, you only have to look at Jaguar Land Rover on Trustpilot to see that new cars aren't necessarily as reliable as you think. So on to some things that have gone wrong with this car then. Well, in 2019, I went in for my driving test and the Saxo went in for her MOT and put it this way, only one of us passed first time. The Saxo failed on having imbalanced brakes and a broken fog light, so to be honest, it could have fared worse. But if you've seen the video, which is linked below, five shit mods that somebody made to this Saxo, then you'll know that the previous owner fancied himself as a bit of an electrician. So I've had a lot of trouble with the rear lights. Three years on the bounce, this car failed for having a broken fog light. Always offside as well, in the, the same one failed every year. Some people never learn. If you are thinking about modifying your car, then don't. So one day I was driving along and I went to use my indicator, you know, cause I don't drive a BMW and it just wouldn't work. But it was very confusing because sometimes it would work and sometimes it just wouldn't. What I had to do was play a little game of indicator roulette. Do I avoid using my indicator now when it's not as important to use it? And do I save my indicators? That's that's right, guys. I, I had to ration my indicators. It's at this point I thought I'd give a non-sponsored shout out to my local garage in Liverpool. They're a Citroen specialist. They've done loads of work on my car. It's double S motors and they're on Arundel Avenue just off Smithdown Road, Wavertree. Really reasonable prices and sound advice given as well, often for free. They also sent me a Christmas card at Christmas so that shows how much has gone wrong with my car. So I took it into them and the guy said, oh yeah, you need to order an indicator relay so it was dead straight forward job he said in the meantime though we've got to hit the relay which is in the fuse box on the passenger side um with like a wooden spoon or something because that'll wake it up and keep it working it's it's like something a story me dad would tell me about how he had to keep his car going like in the 80s or something like that i i had to pull over and whack my fuse box with a wooden spoon to get my indicators to work you don't get this kind of entertainment these fun stories to tell at a party in new cars i can tell you that the third thing that's went wrong with my saxo since i owned it probably qualifies for one of those car journeys from hell programs that you see on channel 5 i was driving along once again and i went to change gear because i don't have an automatic and uh, the gearbox went all just loose and floppy I, I felt like i should pull over and put some viagra in the fuel tank i nursed the car into a car park and googled the symptoms because that's what you do isn't it after some light googling i very cleverly came to the conclusion that the car needed to be fixed so i turned on the car had to reverse out the space and of course reverse gear was not working i was too embarrassed stupidly to ask anyone around me to give me a push out of the space so i went home uh, explained to me dad what happened and we had to come back up and he pushed me out. And then when we were going home, I realized I only had third and fifth gear. Well, I was going quite fast. I was in third. I drove all the way home in third gear. <laughs> Nothing that has gone wrong in this car has had anything to do with the engine. I've had literally no trouble with the engine, touch wood whatsoever. Nothing lasts forever, but if you want an old car, then it will go for you if you buy a well looked after one lowest mileage that you can and you service and look after it yourself i hope you enjoyed the video and perhaps maybe understand more about the old car culture um that i apparently seem to believe in i mean why would you more videos and reviews coming soon so stay subscribed and i'll see you soon